Hello dear children, welcome back to your science class. So in this chapter we have learned what are the different components of food, what are the various nutrients that are present in food items and also we have seen what is a balanced diet and what are the different ways in which we can avoid the wastage of food and we have also learned what are the different methods that are used for preserving food items. So from all that we have studied till now, let us see if we are able to answer few of the questions that is given here. Look at the picture and let us try to answer the following questions. What are the different methods of food preservation that is used here? That is in the case of A and B. A is a packet of chips that is sealed and B is a bottle of pickle. Now, the method of food preservation that is used here in the case of A is drying. And we know that the method of food preservation that is used in the case of B is pickling. Now, how are these methods of food preservation helpful? We know that the method of food preservation that is used in the first case is drying. And let us see how drying can be helpful in preservation. We have already learned that drying will remove all the water content that is present in the chips. And then the chips is sealed or it is packed in airtight packets. So this will prevent the growth of microbes in the packet of chips. Likewise, in the case of pickling, how the method is helpful in preservation. We use salt and oil in order to make pickle, isn't it? Yes, this will prevent the growth of microbes in the pickle. Because we have already learned that salt and oil can act as preservatives. Can you name two other food items that can be preserved by these methods? That is by the method of drying and by the method of pickling? Yes, let us see the first case. So the food items that can be preserved by the method of drying includes drying of fresh grapes. Fresh grapes when it is dry or by removing all the water content we can convert it into raisins. Likewise fresh red chilies when all the water content is removed we can convert it into dry chilies where raisins and dry chilies are kept fresh for a longer period of time. While in the case of pickling, the food item that can be preserved by this method is keeping cut pieces of pineapple in a bottle that contains water and salt. And by doing this method, we can preserve pineapples for a longer period of time. Likewise, cucumbers that are kept in bottle which contains water and salt by doing so, we can keep the cucumbers fresh for a longer period of time. Now, let us think and answer these questions. Ria only eats fried food. Do you think that she is doing a right thing? Give reason for that. We know that Ria is not doing a right thing. She is not doing a right thing if she eats only fried food because we know that fried foods are rich in fats. But our body needs only a small amount of fat. By eating only fried food, excess of fat will get into her body and this will make her obese or fat. And we know that obesity can cause diseases like diabetes and heart diseases. Also, when Rhea eats only fried food, 
her body lacks all the other nutrients which are required for her proper growth and development. Therefore, if she eats only fried food, she is not doing the right thing. Now, in this case, Sonia is suffering from bleeding gums. Which type of food should she include in her diet and why is it so? We know that vitamin C keeps the teeth and gums healthy. Yes, we have already learned that, isn't it? So, Sonia suffers from bleeding gum because there is no proper intake of vitamin C by her body. So, she should eat vitamin C rich foods such as amla, citrus fruits like lemon and oranges, tomatoes and guava. So, when she eats these vitamin C rich foods, this will help her to heal the bleeding gums. Now, let us see. In this case, who needs more energy? A child who is playing basketball or a child who is sleeping? We are very much sure that a child who is playing basketball needs more energy than a child who is sleeping, isn't it? Yes, because during playing, our body does a lot of physical activity like jumping, sitting down, running, walking. All these physical activities are involved. This needs more energy by our body. But during sleep, our body is at rest and therefore, we need less energy and that is why a child who is playing basketball needs more energy than a child who is sleeping. 